Houston High School. Opened in 1957. It's the second high school in Pasadena. South Houston definitely has a history. For those of us who grew up here, we know we, we were the original Wonder Years neighborhood. Here we have the first graduating class of South Houston High School in 1959. Starting here, we go through all of the class photos from the 50s and early 60s. This is the class of 1965, taken in the front courtyard in the front of the school. And here in the corner, we have a recently planted tree that's being held down by a rope. This is actually one of the very large live oaks that still exist out front. What we've tried to do with the Hall of History is twofold. We've tried to bring alumni back to their high school experience. And we've also tried to get current students to look ahead to a day that they would make their mark on history. They see the importance of coming to school and the importance of being part of a 50, almost 60 year tradition of being a South Houston High Trojan. And the importance of getting a start here and having a good time while you're doing it. The room itself, been working on it over a year, probably the planning here and there for a year before that. You can see by the layout, it's a walk through time. We wanted to capture the feeling of a school district that went from one high school to four high schools in 11 years. It was a neat time to be alive and South Houston was a great campus and we wanted to preserve that before it was too late. First thing we did, Alumni Hall of Honor. We need to figure out who our successful alumni are. And, and do something along the way there. Wow. We lost two firefighters recently. Those were in the news. This is the final phase. This was the last link to create a museum where we could bring it all together, where you could actually get the story behind the plaques. So what we have here is a timeline that begins in the 50s and it coincides with important events in the history of our nation. So you have relics, and artifacts from history coinciding with the decades. And you'll have alumni who come back and they immediately find their decade and they start pointing out events and classmates and important items from that era. It's amazing, it's kind of a eureka moment when everybody walks in and all of a sudden they're home and that's what it's all about. Oh yeah, the football games were fantastic and we were always told, because we were in the choir, if we had competition or something, we had to yell too much at the football games because we wouldn't have a voice for competition the next week. We wouldn't have gotten it started at all if not for Bobby Allen. I don't know if anybody loves South Houston more than Bobby Allen. He's been a benefactor to the football team. He has helped the athletic department in numerous ways. And after talking to Dr. Fullen, uh, I went to Bobby Allen first, and I said, this is what we got in mind. And he said, you go for it, I'll take care of the rest. We knew we had a few things, uh, artifacts from the library, they'd kept a few things over the years. We had a lot of people donate all kinds of different items. Letter jackets, sweaters, three Janet costumes, the Donnie Brogna collection. And he brought in the beanies here for he and his wife. He married a South Houston girl. He brought in all of his track medals. Donnie was an outstanding football player, quarterback for us. That was our first playoff team. It was back in the fall of 67, and he donated all this material to the Hall of History. Concert ticket stubs. There's a lot of neat stuff in here. Here's Willie Nelson at Gillies, Elvis in the dome. This case over here is dedicated to our early musicals and senior plays. A lot of the cabinets have items in them that reflect the culture of the times. You'll see records. Those are things that music comes off of. Uh, here's an old Instamatic camera where you had to, every time you took a flash picture, you had to replace the bulb, but don't burn your fingers. <laughs> We've got a pair of swim trunks. Now, I don't know why, but the ladies seem to like this. <laughs> From the Trojan swim team back in 1965. And yes, I made him wash them before I put them in <laughs> This is a going steady bracelet. If you had a senior ring, you'd give it to the girl. She'd wear it around her neck. If you didn't have a senior ring, you'd generally buy an ID bracelet, and they'd jingle jangle them around the hallway. Look, like, oh, I got him. You know? Here's the baseball that won us the district championship in 1971. We beat Smiley one to nothing, extra innings. And the guy who actually got the leadoff hit in the inning saw the ball laying over in the field, went over there, grabbed it, put it in his closet, and kept it until now. And now that's in the museum. We won the baseball championship that year. 
This column here is dedicated to our very best football team that we've had. The Junkyard Dogs in 1975. Good football team. Sent a lot of guys to college. And the story is that we were undefeated getting ready to play Clear Lake. And a reporter interviewed the Clear Lake coach and said, well, what do you think about the upcoming game with South Houston? And he said, ha, huh, South Houston's nothing but a bunch of junkyards, ice houses, and used car lots. <laughs> so the next week we beat them 34 to 13, and we started calling ourselves the Junkyard Dogs. <laughs> so after I heard the story, I rather liked the name. It brings great pride in uh, what we do as uh, football players. As we just love the sport and love where we come from and the program and how it's changed our lives. I will always remember the memories that uh, football has bring, the people I've met, and it's something that I'll keep friends. As I've met people from the 50s all the way up till now, the one thing that's been constant has been Trojan pride. And so I think that's the neat part that we're trying to hopefully capture and keep going is that the kids take pride in their accomplishments and things we're trying to do here at South Houston. To see like the past and how it's changed, it's just amazing. It's really interesting seeing how everything changes throughout the years and how people grow. It makes me really like reflect on everything that I've done and things I want to do. I'm planning on saving some things so hopefully they can be in this museum. One of the most heartwarming things is you have people who are in their, their 50s or older coming back to high school and they're wondering what kids are going to be like. And then you've got high school kids that see these people of, of older generations and they actually interact. And the older generation realizes that kids are up to the same things that they were up to 40, 50 years ago. And those students look and they can see themselves coming back in decades to come and actually enjoying their high school experience. But this is great. This is great. This brings the history back to life. That's what I like about it. You can go through here and bring back the good memories. Uh, and uh, you girls click. You start collecting. Because before you know it, you're going to be 50 years old. <laughs> Feels like it. Enjoy your youth because it goes by very, very quickly. Be involved in everything in school and you'll have lots of memories, good memories.